Hey, everybody. If you haven't heard, I am hosting a tournament tomorrow, September 24th at 1 p.m. Eastern on my Twitch channel. And I would love if you could come and stop by. But for this tournament, we invited 15 players that either create content for Super Auto Pets or play in competitive tournaments. And for the 16th and final slot, since I'm not competing in my own tournament, I decided to host a smaller tournament for all of my Twitch viewers. And whoever came out on top could play on my behalf. Also, for the second game, I got two of the creators competing tomorrow to help commentate the games, being Cotty as well as Super Auto Gaming. So go check them out if you haven't before. But anyways, if you like the video, like the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. Let's see, Camel is in the pack. There are two people going Camel, two people going Starfish. Let's look at Hog. And then what are you trying to go for later? Probably Cow to get a bunch of stats. Tiger on the camel. Have you previously announced a current list of people in the journey? I have not. <laughs> not much scaling until very late. Yeah, it seems like... I mean, the level 2 hatching chick for hog is going to be really, really strong. And they have buy sell with the shrimp and the starfish. So they may be able to... They are at 3 already, though. We'll see. Porcupine also seems a little strong, but I guess not into camel. Yeah, this seems really good. Uh, cell pets, we have one, two, three, four tier ones, which I guess is the most important. But then not much when it comes later. We got here, here. It's a decent amount. Let's see, are they going to go for the level up on the... I mean, they have to go for the level up on the hatching chick. They don't level it up immediately, though, it seems. They would care more for the temporary stats to get the round win. Is this pack random? The pack is random. I mean, I feel like Sus and Hog have the best stats at the moment. Yeah, I think you're good, and then you're going to try and get scaling with a tier 5. Yeah, let's see if waiting for the tier 5 level up was worth it. Oh, we're just getting the permanent stats on the camel. Lion and Emu. I think Lion could be good. There are a lot of strong tier 6s, though, and tier 5s, so Lion might not be the move. Is this like an audition bracket? It is. Yeah, because I think for this at some point you have to stop going buy sell. Expect the animation is cool? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Somehow you're still up here with the Hippo. I guess as long as you don't go against one of the two strong teams, you're going to be fine. And you're going to be able to build up. Also, let's look at Logan. Logan's over here on one heart with the level two worm to be able to scale. And I guess Panda can make the Hippo large. But you go up against the big opponent. So you have lost. <laughs> All right, Logan's out. Went up against the scaled team from the hatching chick. Who am I looking at here? <laughs> okay, you're going for draws. What are you looking for, though? Are you going to wait for the tier up on nine? This gamer is so cool. They're thinking hard. That Mantis was so fire. Mantis in the middle. <laughs> okay, they're going for the combine because they're not finding anything good. Wolf is strong.
And then you go banana in the back. I really want to see this survive. Oh, seven incoming. I believe in you. All right, well, never mind. Your badger got sniped already. <laughs> no. Oh, no. All right. Well, they're still the only one on one. Or they're the only one on one now. All right, let's see what tier sixes people are going to be grabbing on turn nine. I mean, I think people just level up into Stegosaurus and they start winning rounds pretty easily. Ostrich could scale if they're on a decent amount of hearts. Tomato's really strong. Snake could be good. There still isn't much scaling, so Ostrich could be great. But I think, yeah, I think it's just Stegosaurus. They're going to scale the Badger. Go for the Snipe. They're thinking about it. <laughs> they want that other badger. Nope. They got another one? Oh, they just go for the chili. Okay. All right, let's see if they survive. Ooh, already with an octopus. And level two foam sword. That's tough. Still actually very close, though. Close. All right. Now we are on Sus. Sus has a Stegosaurus level up in the shop. Are they going to get it, though? We can also look at Toad Knight. Toad Knight might actually be good. Toad Knight can force a held food onto this stork and then just have a huge level 2 hippo. Worm is so bad. Yeah, but it's kind of the only scaling at the moment. Or it was in the early game. I think whoever got the level 2 hatching chick is probably really, really happy. But also, Arma has a lot of ability, or utility. Let's see, Sus doesn't have the stats, or does have the stats? Has the stats to draw. Highland Cow over Stego is bold. Yeah, especially on two hearts. But I guess they got the draw, so maybe it was worth it. I think Toad Knight's going to stay. Okay, Toad Knight, never mind. <laughs> Toad Knight decided to get the stats on the stork instead of stats on the hippo. Which is interesting. Because I think if you just put a held food on the stork, guarantee the hippo. But I mean, level 3 stork is really strong. And then Hog has just the giant camel and a ton of links. And then Sus is going to go... Alright, do we think Sus is going to Tiger the Highland Cow or Tiger the Porcupine for more fun? Stork summons a pet from the current... It's a previous shop tier. Porcupine 100%. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see. Is Armo's utility strong enough? I don't think so. Armo does have four hearts and has an ostrich, so maybe that's the right move. Oh, Toad got knocked out. Oh. All right, let's start spectating who's on lethal. Let's see. I, yeah, okay, your team's actually looking pretty strong. If you get a held food on anything that Everything but your reindeer. Or you're going double reindeer. 
I like. Oh. oh, let's see. Do they just get rid of this one and go triple stego? I think you got to. Oh, they're rolling. They want the double reindeer. Okay, well. I don't know if that's greedy or not. I think I would have sold the reindeer and had triple stego. We'll see if it pays off. Hopefully it hits the front one. It does. But is it good enough? Oh, it's not. I think the greed is what got you. I think Triple Stego might take that home. All right, well, back to Sus. Sus keeps... Sus, I think Sus has knocked, like, everyone out of this so far. But everyone's on two now. Double Links was the line, I think. There were some options. The level two Highland Cow will be good for Sus. Armo's Ostrich is not scaling super crazily. And I think their Foam Sword is kind of falling off now. Especially if it hits Hog. We'll see. Level 2 Ostrich. Armo does go down to 1, though. And Jober goes down to 1. With the Gecko and Warthog. I feel like Armo just has to get a huge scale on this Ostrich, potentially. Which I guess that's what they're looking for. Were these players pre-chosen? Uh, it was a uh, randomly chosen. So for the next lobby, we'll do the same. But we're going to do the Scooty Fan 1v1 after this. Alright, plus 6 on the Ostrich. Level 2 Foam Sword with level 2 Puma. Is there a pet you can swap to? Or is the Garial the best? Yeah, the Garial is just the best pair with the Puma. You could do it with the Puppy and give everything weakness. Scooter Fan, didn't you say you wanted to do the 1v1 after this? Ooh, I think the camel's too strong here. If the snipe would have killed the reindeer, maybe Armo stays alive. Jober and Armo are knocked out. Thanks for letting me play. I was Nick. Didn't even think of going triple stego. Definitely makes sense. That was close. All right. It is sus and hog. Don't see Sus losing this. I don't know. I mean, Hog doesn't have any more scaling. Stego are good as well. It's absolutely absurd that Sus has not been able to get the level up on the Highland Cow, though. So hopefully they can hit it next turn. But I guess they're freezing everything to try and get something else. Let's see. Porcupine. Ooh, those snipes are strong. And you just barely don't survive. All right, sus. What are you going to do? Do you get the level up on the Highland Cow? I think that would be really big. Tiger also seems really good to pair with the Stego. Or even the Highland Cow. And also, I don't know if the Highland Cow should go into the front at this point. They're looking for the level up. I think I don't know I don't know if you can hold that. I 
And they are now deciding to tiger the Highland cow. Which I think is fine. Never mind. They're going to tiger the Stego. Let's see if they can do it. I think the porcupine in the front isn't the move. Maybe it is now. Let's see. Sus does win. Sus may be able to, may be able to take this. Also, the... Uh, the Lynx has not hit the Porcupine yet. Oh, Sus, please buy this. Please buy this. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Sus doesn't want an eggplant game. Do they think it's worth it? Let's see. Probably just that. They go for the level 2 Highland Cow over another Stego. There are less things for the Lynx to snipe now. So let's see if the Lynx... Uh, the Lynx does get ricocheted. But everything dies. So the Stego has nothing to hit. Uh-huh. All right, let's look at the code. We have... Or the pack. Oh, no pill, pill no chocolate. Oh, there what? is pill. No chocolate. Pill shark seems great. Man, ooh, praying mantis yeah, with mantis. shark. Oh, mantis muskox shark. Oh, it's over. and spino. Oh, it's over. That's exactly <laughs> that seems what I would so go for. So good. Um, or, tier ones you got pretty much moth. Ferret's not bad. Um, imagine just complete. If the timer was accurate here, actually just missing turn one. Well, yeah, I think <laughs> I think it pauses the timer when I open up the pack. But obviously, mm. I want to look at the pack at yeah. the beginning. I saw Pug again as well. Can't wait till that's nerfed to tier three. And then Star Pack is just unusable. I think Star Pack will still be good with, um, like, With the new eel. <laughs> Yeah, with the new eel. Well, I was thinking leech. I think leech dove is actually good. Oh, what yeah. Do they do to eel? It's tier three now, and they reduce its stats a little bit. Wow. But that tier is three is pretty good. Power. I yeah. really want someone to go bison. <laughs> yeah, level three, that chipmunk. And the egg. The egg tech. It's a mole pack for sure. <laughs> Uh, uh. Maybe if it was new mole. This egg's gonna go crazy. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think about the new mole as opposed to the old one? I think it's cool. I think it makes it more consistent to get like mole into mole. Like without having yeah, to have. I think it's really strong. Ooh, muskox with pill. Muskox with spider pill. That's nasty. Immediately. I guess you can't afford it, but on next turn. Oh wait, no, they do have money. Never mind. The spectate's just wrong. <laughs> Are they not gonna spend the gold here? I would I would wow. go ahead and pill it. Wow. I guess maybe try to get a level two spider since you already have two. That could That's be good. Fair. I still really like pilling that spider there. Oh, I mean I would have two. But the level two, like, too. could be something <laughs> no i i think i think we all would have done that there because <laughs> like you get a hatching chick giraffe porcupine dodo like eh, there's too many good things on three for you to not pill spider there mm -hmm. on the other hand if they do go for the level two spider before the pill i will completely respect the greed yeah level two hatching chick giraffe i mean the, all the same stuff but would be so much stronger actually yeah getting a level two musk ox would be really good they have muskox as well, which is good. Well, the spider they had, had the hatching chick. Yeah, they could have had that hatching chick. That's how that works. 
A hundred percent. Let's see if they commit for the level two, though. I want to see the commit. Oh, you got to get that. Also, is there anything yes. worth Chipmunk? I guess is Rice even worth it on level two Chipmunk, or does it like net even? I think it's still worth, but I don't because because Pill's in the pack. I don't think you would ever want to unfreeze Pill. Mm -hmm. Awkward with this moth here on three. No, nah, I think I think you sell Chipmunk by moth and try to roll for Spider. That's fair. Okay, are they listening to me? <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. No, Ooh, and they hit the other one. Okay, not listening to me. Confirmed. I mean, that's not wow. bad. It's kind of a waste of money, but it's not. It's not bad pilling there. Yeah, I don't it's not think. bad because if you get the level, um, it's it might actually be better to combine muskox here and then buff it with pug. I like that line a lot, actually. I'm so bad about. Like that 1.5 spider, I will look for that level 2 spider for way too long, way past. Oh, too. yeah. The egg value is crazy from Omart here. Yeah. Dude, Let's do see. people want to know when you're going to reveal uh, the creator list for the uh, tournament? Oh. I wonder who they could be. Yeah. <laughs> You're not listening to any of them. <laughs> uh, I can release it today or tomorrow. I mean, it, the list is full. I'm glad uh, Sub showed up. Yeah. I just yeah. assumed they were MIA, so I, I never messaged them. No, sub, sub just hasn't been wanting to play... Uh, ranked. Ranked, yeah, yeah, because of his sanity. That's fair. Yeah, completely fair. I don't know. I like going insane. Yeah, let's look at Crank's team. Crank's got the double hatching chick already. Also, I'm I'm thinking I might do uh or use Grounded's randomizer so that there's the potential to get like Jerboa and strawberries and stuff. That sounds cool. Cause Grounded said that theirs is just like a hundred percent random. Cause the randomizer for this one, it prevents certain pets. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like true random for sure. You just make it so much more random. We're gonna have Kyogre out on the on round one. That's <laughs> what I want to see. Just some true duds. I feel like the best of ones are gonna be where people might get <laughs> upset. <laughs> For sure. But... The tournament where I made a really long run uh, because because it was like there were three strings of best of one, mm -hmm. and I I just got super lucky against people that were definitely seated higher than me yeah but at least it's only one round back. of best of ones yeah yeah i think the like the first round like the lobbies will be fine and then like everything else is best of threes and best of fives sub is actually on the weekly leaderboard yeah i talked to him he said that he was playing uh eight player lobbies And the best of one does te test one of uh, Sap's most important skills, which is just hitting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And at least the best of ones will be seeded. Wait, they'll be seeded? Oh, yeah, yeah because based on uh, the lobbies. One. I love this level two hatching chick already. Just statting up this ox. Because mm -hmm. uh, no one else, they, no one else has a level two yet. Did they pill a spider into it, or did they? Um, I don't know. We weren't watching. They might have. Yeah, they had it before we even got over here. So it could have been pilled into hatching chick. That's why they had two. Favorite to win the whole tournament, me. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> it's sag. <laughs> Honestly, though, I think it's Kyogre, and that and that really grinds my gears. Yeah, oh. well, Kyogre's been grinding really hard because he yeah. really wants this hat. So, oh, uh, really Lightmare's guy. the one that has a hat, right? Yeah, yeah. I, so I talked to 
Brennan from Teamwood, and they said if Lightmare were to win, that maybe they would stack two hats on top of each other for him. That would be That's good. That's really good. <laughs> and they said they would figure out something. But I was like, you could just stack two. I think that'd be good. I kind of want Lightmare to win. <laughs> <laughs> you can, if you go to the finals, you can throw just so Lightmare gets the double hat. Just absolutely blackmail <laughs> how bad do you want that hat you're like i'll let you win if you give me the prize money i'll give you the hat <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean we invited basically all of the the one seeds from the competitive scene and then people that were on top of the leaderboard so the uh it's a bunch of like all of these people beat each other all the time so it's it's an incredibly competitive group of guys i beat them all the time too mm -hmm. i'm cheering for the fan slot <laughs> i'm cheering for m god oh for sure wait but i thought this was the to, to determine who goes against m god yeah i'm but i'm sure i'm cheering for m god <laughs> m god's got Whoever this wins one. this eh. M God's gonna take it home. I would love to see the underdog rise up. If only Scooty Fan was able to compete. That would have been great. But I guess after that display we watched, maybe it's for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be rude, but that was pretty <laughs> unwatchable, Scooty Fan. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, it, was like, it, was, it was a little expected from SAG fan, but, but from <laughs> you, that's, that's just wrong. I'm only toasting Scooty fan because they participate in this type of banter in chat all the time. And because it was awful, awful, unrecognizable gameplay. <laughs> Someone was playing for Scooty fan. It was my little, his brother little brother or something. on a broken controller, and there was a glare on the screen. The sun was in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Scooty fan, I will say you are good at static packs, or maybe yeah, we're, or maybe we're both bad at static packs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the other thing is that random pack is a very different ball game. It is from. The, I mean, the metas are very well ironed out for the most part in the static pack. Yeah, kind there of definitely is like a skill set in figuring out the best options from a pack. That's why people think that I have a chance. Because I play so many random packs. I think you do have a chance. You absolutely do. I just need to hit. Yeah. And I would appreciate Kai getting knocked out in the best of ones. <laughs> I would appreciate that as well. I think that improves everyone everyone's odds significantly. I think because he's been he's been grinding random lobbies extremely hard. He's been grinding everything. Oh, hand sanitizer yeah. already got knocked out. Oh, hand sanitizer. You can if you go to history. That's how you spectate. Also, I'm surprised Crank is losing here. I guess they're just committing too much to this Ox. Might be able to make a comeback with the Spino. And Omar was getting lucky hits with the Scorpion, but they swapped out. Oh, Bob's really holding out for the level 3 Otter. The hopeful Bison. Uh-huh. Oh, no. That's way too late. Definitely no hope kidding. there. Oh, if crank, crank if crank goes for the uh, the mantis though with the spino and ox, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be big. I still think crank's team's looking really strong. I think they just got unlucky rounds. I agree. Level two penguins huge. Ooh, level two spino as well. Wow. Honestly, I feel like penguins not that good here. Especially on two hearts. At they could just, the units that you're most likely to get rid of. That shark right there could be something. 
Yeah, something tells me like double spino, shark, ox, deer. Mm hmm. That was crazy. And just pray to the Lord above that you find Mantis. Ooh, no shark. Niala's so fine I... tempo as well. I guess Niala's just about as strong as a level one shark. Yeah. If this board had hit Mantis early, it'd be Joe. Heck yeah, yeah. rolling it down. Unlucky. That's that's the good strat. <laughs> Omar's Nobody team is strong Mantis. here. Level two. The Wombat does seem fairly good. Niala on two people. Doesn't get anything yeah, he's here. Always getting, he's go always getting everything except for that one guy. Mm -hmm. Which is Miazis. Just look at that spine. Oh, bro. yeah. No, this... We can look yeah, at Omar real quick. The Hawk break points, too. Yeah. I love the Wombat here. <laughs> I think the Wombat's great. I think any pack that has, like, Wombat and Niala or, like, another good Tier 6 feint is just, mm -hmm. it's just solid. The game really wants Omar to take a Scorpion, it seems. Oh, they had one, and then they swapped out for a couple rounds. Level Up Snake. Is Level Up Snake worth it, or are they just looking for something else? Snake is so OP. But I would I would assume that he's looking for Mantis as well. That's I also funny. really like Pepper, just like on Wombat or something. With four hearts, it's hard to skip a lionfish. That is true. Is there a decent scaling for it though? He has no. Yeah, I was about to say he has no scaling for it. Yeah, Would be like it pizza, lasagnas, two. stuff like that. I don't know. I'm gonna disagree with Cotty there. This penguin's not hard. feeling strong. I don't think lionfish is that good in in random packs, unless very specific things. Like monkey? Yeah, gotta have monkey. Well, let's see how the uh, how the lionfish now, does. That's actually very specific, because level 3 hatching chick is actually unreal with lionfish, because you can easily level it up. Also, that wombat copied the lionfish, but still wasn't enough. <laughs> that was almost good. Ooh, level 2 snake's great. I think you got to get rid of this penguin. Yeah, it's got to be Spino. That's insane. Uh, this is not terrible with three hearts to get stats. Spino does uh, seem like the play, though. Isn't there pill? I was about to say, isn't there pill in this pack? Because mm -hmm. pilling stuff with Spino just... Muskox just seems so good. Oh, yeah. Muskox is so small. It is very small. No one went for the Mantis. Nope. I get. I honestly, it just looked like nobody found it. That's yeah. Oh my goodness! Level three hatching chick for the lionfish. Oh, if Decros doesn't lose, I still don't know if it's enough stats though. If they He's hit the level flamingo, two cow, he got. He has flamingo. Um, what is it? Giraffe and hatching chick all buffing lionfish. It could actually be. Yeah. Okay. If they survive. Yeah. If they that's survive. also. The largest ferret <laughs> that I've ever seen. This is good. That's a puppy pet classic. Ooh, oh, almost the yeah. steal. Wow. wow. The wombat's actually doing really well. It's just not winning. Oh, I think he I think he died the lionfish guy. Yeah. Meowsies is a different lionfish gamer. Using Spino to buff it. It is good. It's only getting there's no summons. Are there any No, there's no way to summon here there is eggplant which could be good against snake could help with spino maybe for some spino reason cheese good. i feel like cheese looks the best yeah cheese is just scaling i don't know how this ferret got so large it's got to be penguin penguin early penguin yeah yeah and the balloons let's see they copied niala on the wombat Frank looks really clean, though. Those peppers are putting in the work. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ooh, great. that's good. And now Omar gets the TV. Right? 
Or did they, they already get it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> Let's see. The Wombat's actually putting in the work. I knew it. I, I knew Ooh, it. Ooh, and there's the level three for it. Oh, that's so good. I is guess it, you just... Because other people have lionfish. Do you shoot for level three snake or just feed it a pineapple probably? I think level three is hard to get. Yeah, I think it's hard to get. I could see salt on sauropod. That's, that's what oh, I'm yeah, thinking. yeah, yeah. Hitting that ferret for double damage. Or is I it just... Think he can replace... You can't... I mean, the sauropod is large. Spino yeah, might it's not be really worth hard it. hard to replace there. Ooh, cheese lost as well. With that huge team. That's crazy. She's got an ostrich going, though. Honestly, Meowsies has a really big porcupine. Mm hmm. Almost level three. Ooh, Omar is going for the level three snake. I do like the salt on Sauropod, too. That is really mm -hmm. strong. Could do a lot against the porcupine. Wait, that's actually like That perfect. steak was great. Yeah. Ooh, the snake's going really strong too. I mean, he steals lionfish no matter what, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Mark's looking strong. It's the wombat, because everyone has something for it now, and it's all good. Level 3 Niala or level 3 uh, lionfish. I want to see how big uh, Cheese's ostrich gets. I feel like if you're cheese, you <laughs> you get rid of the Niala if you like, if it's a one v one with Omar. I think you just basically turn off the wombat. Wombat still gets flamingo, flamingo. but because the Niala is yeah. not really that strong, the chocolate cake does help. Cheese but like, I don't I don't think Crank can get rid of either of these. They maybe could, but they'd have to get rid of two things to counter the wombat. Ooh yeah, no Crank has got to keep it and just hope. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like Omart has the best chance here just yeah. because of... Yeah, and they hit the that. level 3 snake, too. They, oh, I didn't realize. Ooh, I feel like holding Scorpion might be worth it. Just in case you lose. Oh, <clears> yes. <throat> Wait, Scorpion's insane against Cheese and... Uh, well, Cheese has the, the coconut. Or might oh, still have the coconut. Oh. <clears throat> I think you still could hold it. Yeah. Yeah, I think you definitely keep it frozen. Just in case you lose, see who your opponent is. And I think the only thing you want on Snake is Pepper, so it's kind of weird that not it's not frozen there. Ooh. Great that's, hits. That Snake hit was crazy. And, and then they Niala steal the Niala. <laughs> All right, it's Omart and Crank. I don't know. I think Omart takes this because Crank has the double. Um... So they're stealing Niala. Yeah, stealing level three Niala here. You just buy food. Yeah. I think this deer steak was like getting Omar a lot, but it might not do much here. Level two Spino could do a lot as well. Because they don't have Spino. But if the snake just shoots it, then. <laughs> That's true. That 15 damage. Isn't there pineapple? There is. Oh, pudding steak. Okay. Is Pancake ever worth it? Yeah, I think Pancake on uh, Sauropod could be worth it. Eggplant. Does Eggplant do anything? Eggplant for Crank to move the snake to the very front would be great. Mm. We could switch over to Crank, see if, what he's doing. Let's see if they got the Eggplant going. No Eggplant. Double Spino? Ooh. <laughs> I kind of like that. I like that a lot. What'd they get rid of? Deer? Isn't deer... Wait, wouldn't deer be better than Niala here? Yeah, so the wombat can't steal. Yeah, as well and as... And it gives um, the sauropod, this second one, a better shot. Yeah. Oh, that... Oh, it got double hit there. Oh, yeah, just the... The wombat actually is so strong. That's mm -hmm. crazy how good Wombat was there. Wow. GG's Omar. Well played.